manually uploading a video to YouTube. We're going to see how to upload a video file to YouTube, which you have uh, stored on your local hard drive. Uh, first thing you'll have to do, of course, is go to YouTube at youtube.com. If you're not already logged into your Google account, click the sign in button in the upper right hand corner of the YouTube opening page and log in using your Google credentials. At which point you should see a small circle in the upper right hand corner where the sign in button was. If you've uploaded a profile image to your Google account, you'll see yourself there. Uh, if not, you'll just see a silhouette. You'll have a Google account, which translates to having a YouTube account. If you use any uh, Google services that require a sign-in, like Gmail or Google Docs. But should you not have such a Google account, you can make one for free at accounts.google.com. It's a short, simple process. So once you're logged in to YouTube, simply click the little create icon, which is in this group of icons in the upper right hand corner of the YouTube interface. It's a little stylized camera with a plus sign in the center of it. When you click on that, you'll get an option to upload a video. At this point, if you have just created your Google account and you have not yet created a YouTube channel, you'll be prompted to do so. It just takes a couple of mouse clicks and it isn't a big deal. Once the upload process starts, you'll get this upload video window automatically and you'll be able to click on the select file button and go and find the video on your hard drive that you want to upload. I'm going to look in my videos library and let's see what I can upload here. Here's a short video that will be appropriate for this. I'll select that video, click open. That starts the upload process automatically. There are only two things you have to do on this first detail screen here. One is to uh, give the video a name. You'll also have to tell YouTube that it's not made for kids. By kids, they mean someone under 13. In your college instructional videos, that should not be a problem. So just click that radio button and then click Next. You can ignore the rest of the page. You could ignore this Video Elements page completely and just click Next again. On the uh, Visibility page, you are going to have to tell YouTube what level of visibility you want your video to have. For an instructional video, that will be either public or unlisted. Public means anyone can play it and it can be searched for uh, and found by people on YouTube using Google. Uh, an unlisted video, on the other hand, cannot be searched for and can only be played if the your client has the share URL, the web address for the video, which only you can provide. No one else will be able to view it or search for it and find it. Private is not appropriate for instructional videos. It's too restrictive. At this point, you just click, when having made your selection here, I'll just make this unlisted. I'll save the video. And you'll be given a status screen, which indicates whether it may say that the video is published already, if it's a very short video, or it may tell you that the video is uploading or that it's being processed into a format that will allow YouTube to serve it. In any case, you can close this window and you'll automatically be taken to your video list for your YouTube channel. And the most recently uploaded video will be at the top here. Uh, 
you can get the share URL from that video by mousing over the detail line for that video and clicking the details link, which is the little pencil icon. Here's the uh, share URL, the share address for that video, which you can copy to your clipboard just by clicking on this icon. You can now paste that URL into an email and send it to your students or put it in a link on Canvas and share it with them that way.